going to open up and take a look at the new Colossal re release for the Retribution of Syra for the War Machine. And this is uh, the Hyperion. Open it up and take a look. Packaged much the same as the rest of them. And have a little tray. Works good to store it in while you're building it. be a good chunk of resin here and get the instructions with it like you usually do. Kind of shows you the parts and how they fit together. So you have a little bit easier time putting it together. You get your two colossal cards, the one with his boxes and the explanation of the generic attacks for the uh, colossals. And then you get his stat and ability card. get a nice cardboard rec marker. It's nice and thick, has a glossy stock on it. You get the large base with it which has the, the marks showing you the center, the left and the right marks for the 180 and the 90 degree fire arcs. A couple of pieces just floating free in here big hunks of resin there. Let's see. Separate out the resin from the metal. It looks to be mostly resin. I believe the last one I put together was mostly resin too. I think that was the Mountain King with the Troll Bloods. And very little of it was uh, metal. Looks to be the same case here. Right there you can see the amount of metal versus the amount of resin in the model. Try to take a look at some of the metal bits first. Organize them just a little. So these look to be the joining parts from the foot to the thigh. So they're in metal. I'm sure that'll help to hold a good bit of the weight. And you get two of those. Not much to it, basically a function piece. You get two sprues like this, which look to have two of the kind of vent stacks to them, and this is a little. Let's see if I can find it on the diagram. These look like little pieces that go on the hip. I'm not sure how they look in the model, and on the model, but you can see they go on the hip piece. So you get two sprues like that. Have what appears to be the I'm guessing this is the head piece of the model. It's what it looks like in according to the picture. So that's going to be of that piece right there. You get some more little vein pieces and these you get six of them together. You can see three on one side, three on the other. They kind of go on the front of the chest, the shoulder area kind of depending on how you look at the model. <coughs> but they just kind of fit into little slots on it. 
and then you have the two arm blades and those go on the forearm Look like they're keyed to fit into the resin so you get two of those and that is all the metal pieces you get in the way. the rest of it looks to be resin there was one more little piece yes there's this little piece here it was just floating around in the box and that looks like it's that piece right there so it goes kind of in the center of the model somehow I'm not sure what it's supposed to represent organize these pieces a little bit you got the two shoulders looks like the torso hip Okay, we'll try to go from the bottom up. These are the two feet. So you have the standard retribution kind of sigils design in there. A couple of vents coming out of the back. That's where that metal piece keys in. And it looks like it keys in like that. So you have the other piece that goes going to go up into the thigh piece. Looks like it actually bends forward to, forward to the diagram. Kind of reverse jointed. So you get two of those feet. And then you have the metal piece joining and then we go up to the kind of uh, thigh pieces. See it's got the key part to fit the thing in so it kind of folds back over it like that. You see it's key to go under the hip piece. Closer look and more of the retribution design, lots of little node points there. You can see the rest of it comes out. So, this is where it fits into the hip, and you get two of those, and they're keyed. And then you come into the hip piece, and you can see it's got a ball for the other part to go on the top. in there pretty good. Okay, yeah. See how it starts to bulk out once you put them together. It's like you got a little bit of motion set to it with a keyed. Then we come up to the bottom part of the upper torso. And it faces forward with this piece right here. That design. Looks like it's a little shallow there. Has to be fixed with some putty. You can see the more design. Some more vents coming out the back. You can see it's kind of stuck fitting. You can get a little bit of rotation on it. But you start to hit the back back of the hip part. So you might be able to set just a pin. Of course your pin wouldn't have far to go in the top piece. You have a little good little bit to go in the bottom piece. 
possibly get a little bit of rotation out of it, depending on how the counterbalance holds the whole weight of it together. Uh, so we have two pieces to the upper torso that just fit together. And that looks like where that little metal piece goes in right there. They have to be cleaned off to where they'll <coughs> excuse me. They have to be cleaned off to where they fit together a little better. But you can see you have the kind of dynamo pieces done and there's one on each side. So that's gonna you know a lot of that's gotta be cleaned up there. That's kind of going to fit together like that. And that's going to give you the upper torso part. And then when it's together, the whole eggshell kind of fits inside the, the bottom part. So now we start to get into the shoulders. And you have a left and right shoulder looks like they're labeled D and E so I'm not going to distinguish between the two right now looks like these looks like these marks are set to be on the back and those big metal veins kind of come out the back okay. these things kind of protrude out the back of these marks here. So I believe that's the back. The back of the shoulder is going to be identified by that. You can see it's got a lot of the same design to it. Arcing curves, lots of little node points, kind of the wavy lines, glyphs. So you get two of those shoulders and those look like they just fit over the arms memory serve that's kind of similar to the way the thing so they don't necessarily connect to this piece right here the arm socket goes in and then they kind of fit over it so boom. speaking of which you get two arm sockets so most of this is going to be covered and something's going to go over this so the exposed parts really going to be this piece right there you can see it's kind of got a ball and socket to go in there. It's all meant to kind of sync up with the shoulder. So this will go up to the shoulder, but the ball socket's really going to be the piece that determines your fit. So you get two of those also. these two pieces which fit over the shoulder kind of like that a couple more dynamo looking pieces the uh, double plate part goes towards the top looks like they just they're not keyed to go so like they kind of just fit like that top of the shoulder so you get one of those for each shoulder and it's going to leave just the forearm and the forearm you can see it's got a place keyed here for those big metal sides to go and they'll swing back out the model you can see that right there you got some like weapon holes there, more node points and filigree. So you have two of those and then the fist goes in the end of it and you're going to get two fists. And that is everything that comes in the new Retribution of Cyrum Colossal model of the Hyperion.